shackled, imprisoned and barred from her triplets. It's the story of a young Uyghur woman's plight in a Chinese detention camp in Xinjiang. And it's going viral online in Japan and across the world in the form of a manga comic. The manga's artist, 50-year-old Tomomi Shimitsu, says she wants to raise awareness of China's crackdown on its Muslim minority. I felt I should make a story for this and I tried to keep this as simple and as understandable as possible. The manga tells the story of a Uyghur woman's return to her hometown in Xinjiang. She was allegedly detained and tortured by Chinese authorities in one of the camps. Shimitsu says one of the woman's triplets died in custody. And when she posted her comic, the artist says she was surprised with the swift reaction just hours later. When I checked my Twitter, there were so many notifications flooding in like a waterfall, and I thought, something big is happening. The comic was retweeted more than 88,000 times and viewed more than 330,000 times on her social media pages. It's also been translated into 10 languages, including English, Uyghur and Chinese. Li Da Ren, a Taiwanese internet engineer, translated the story into Chinese. He says he was deeply moved by the story. Manga is easy to read and people can empathize more with the characters. I wanted to spread this manga to more people. This is about spreading information to people rather than something entertaining. As a human being, I want to help the Uyghur people. The UN and human rights agency groups say between one and two million people have been detained in Xinjiang. Most of them are ethnic Uyghur Muslims. Beijing calls it part of its anti-terrorism campaign. China has repeatedly denied any mistreatment of Uyghurs. Shimitsu denies that her manga was intended to smear China. But she says she could not turn a blind eye to the story. She plans to hear more accounts from other Uyghurs in the hopes of publishing a book by next summer.